The FCC gives SpaceX, Starlink, and T-Mobile the green light for DTC, or direct-to-sell service. What does it mean for you? I'm glad you asked. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Fireside. So good, so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. We'll be talking about DTC or direct to sell service. The FCC has green lighted SpaceX, Starlink and T-Mobile, the partnership for this DTC service or direct to sell service, meaning that there will be no more, no signal available or anything like that. If you're outside and you have a clear view of the sky, you're gonna be able to text your loved one in case of an emergency or something if you're in the US and have T-Mobile as your service provider. Now, there's other countries that have other service providers that have partnered with SpaceX Starlink, so we'll see what ends up happening with that when they're going to be rolling them out. But my understanding, this is going to happen now when it comes to the T-Mobile partnership. So before the end of the year, here in 2024, we're going to see the coverage begin. When I say begin, they're going to start out rolling it out with text only. And then they're gonna move into voice and then data and finally IoT or Internet of Things, which is really big also. So I was reading a few articles, probably about five, six of them talking about this, and I kind of married them all together. This one, this main one was from, I think, TechCrunch. There's a bunch of different ones. And like I said, I put them together. I want to read through some of this for you so you get an idea of what the heck this whole thing is about and how does it pertain to you and how you will be able to use it in case of an emergency or maybe not even in case of emergency, just to use it. Because I think that's even more interesting, the possibility of these telcos going belly up because of SpaceX Starlink. AST, Link, all the rest of them. Before we dive into this article, and then I give you my commentary, and then finally, please, down below, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all of this? And if you don't wanna write something down there, it's okay, put an emoji, just so I know that you actually watched the video. That would be very helpful. So, throw the video a thumbs up, if you like it. If you don't, throw it a thumbs down. I'm okay with that. Either way, at least I know you are here. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider doing so. If you are subscribed, thank you. I appreciate that. Click this little notification button over here so when I go live and when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And if you want to take a look at any of my eBooks, they are free just for you being here. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. And if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work on the channel, it's a little thank you button. Thank you, YouTube, for giving that to us. Click on that button. You can give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more Starlink-specific coverage, I have about 380 videos I think I've put together in the last 40-plus months for you. I'll put a link to those right here. Don't click on it yet. I'll put this playlist link. Click on that when you're done watching this video. Then once again, you'll get a whole bunch of my helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to buy, what not to buy, what to do, what not to do, how to do things. And most importantly, the why behind all of it, because like I always say, this channel has always been and always will be about the why. So let's jump into this article. And then once again, I wanna hear from you. And then finally, down below, emoji, or just let me know what you think about all of this. A bold step into the future of connectivity. SpaceX has secured FCC approval to launch its innovative Starlink Direct to Sell or DTC service, developed in partnership with T-Mobile. This groundbreaking service is designed to bring seamless text, voice, and data access to existing LTE phones anywhere under the open sky, eliminating the need for specialized hardware or apps. I think that's one thing that is really cool about this is that you can use any cell phone, any modern cell phone, and be able to connect to a satellite using this service. That is crazy. No special hardware, no sat phone, no new app, no nothing. <laughs> it continues. The service is set to roll out in phases with text available in 2024 and voice data and IoT or Internet of Things connectivity launching in 2025. Connectivity during crisis, a proven lifesaver. 
The DTC system aims to address connectivity gaps in remote areas, bolstering access to emergency services in natural disasters like hurricanes. For instance, early versions of this technology successfully facilitated emergency communications during Hurricane Helen and Milton. I could attest to that because I was in those hurricanes and I was able to receive DTC service. I'll tell you about that by the end of this video. This achievement demonstrates the potential for satellite-based cellular service to become a lifeline during crises. Absolutely. Engineering Marvel, connecting satellites to phones. SpaceX Starlink's implementation involves cutting-edge technology, addressing challenges like synchronizing signals between fast-moving satellites at 340 to 360 kilometers altitude and terrestrial LTE networks. What's notable there is they're making note that it will be, or they will be, at 340 to 360 kilometers. Remember, all other SpaceX Starlink satellites are sitting at about 530 kilometers, so they're in indicating that yes, they were approved for lowering the altitude of these satellites, they're gonna be sitting in the 300th instead of 500 kilometer range. Very, very big news there. Notably, this operation is made possible without modifying user devices, leveraging existing LTE standards to bridge the gap between satellite and terrestrial connectivity. Beating the competition, SpaceX Starlink's first mover advantage. The competitive landscape for satellite-based cellular connectivity is heating up. While rivals like Link and AST Space Mobile are developing similar technologies, SpaceX's partnership with T-Mobile gives it an early advantage in the U.S. market. Regulatory approval have also been a hurdle, with objections from competitors like Amazon's Project Kuiper and Dish Network. We talked a lot about those in the past. However, the FCC has largely cleared SpaceX's path, citing significant benefits to public safety and communication access. Universal Access, a new era in global communication. This initiative could redefine global connectivity, enabling communication from underserved regions such as the ocean, deserts, and other remote locations. With this innovation, quote, no signal may soon become a relic of the past. The broader implications extend to IoT devices or Internet of Things devices where DTC capabilities can revolutionize industries like shipping, agriculture, and environmental monitoring. A game changer for emergencies and beyond. SpaceX Starlink's direct-to-sell promises to make connectivity universal, offering not just convenience, but also critical access for emergencies and underserved regions. While pricing and availability remains under wraps, this service is poised to make a significant impact on global communication infrastructure. That is 100% the case. So, this rollout, like I was saying earlier, will happen this year, 2024. By the end of this year, we're going to see SpaceX Starlink's DTC service working on T-Mobile. That's going to be text only. Then in 2025, they're gonna start rolling out voice, data, and then finally IoT, Internet of Things. Internet of Things is a really big thing, and the reason being is that that means that any type of device that's sitting around anywhere will be able to get signal and be able to be on the web. As of right now, Internet of Things is big in cities where there is public Wi-Fi, right? Where there is areas that have some type of connectivity. But when you have connectivity that reaches the stars, when these units or these devices can be anywhere, as long as they have free access to the sky, guess what? They could be this big. And that device is going to have full internet connection or connectivity. So IoT will be a big thing. But for us or for you, being able to pick up your phone and text somebody in case of an emergency, even when there is no cell towers near you or the cell towers are dead because of some type of hurricane or natural disaster of some sort, maybe an earthquake or who knows what, you'll be able to pick up your phone and make an emergency text to a friend, family, loved one, someone. And then once again, coming into 2025, not only are you going to be able to text them, you'll be able to call them. 
and be like, listen, I am stuck. I'm on the top of a roof. There is flooding coming through and I don't know what to do. Send someone to the house. And that is exactly the type of thing that we saw during Hurricane Helene and Milton. Now, how do I know that this thing works? Well, I was doing a live and the hurricane just blew through. And since I was in a hurricane disaster area, we had tornadoes, 100, I think it was 136 tornadoes ripped through this area that were spawned by Hurricane Milton. So there was a lot of destruction near me. Thank goodness we didn't get that destruction here at the house, but we were in the DTC service. Now, what does that mean? That means that I was able to text my wife sitting next to me with absolutely no service at all. Everything shut down. I was still able to text her inside of the building, not from outside, literally inside of the building. Now, this studio has thick eight inch poured concrete walls. So obviously the signal is penetrating through the roof and not the walls because eight inches of concrete, it's gonna be hard to get through. But I was able to text her, but was also amazing here. And I remember I talked about this. I said, you know what? If they, they being the FCC authorizes this, how about if there's a guy on the top of the roof here and another guy and family on the top of the roof there, these people have T-Mobile and these people have AT&T. Do we save the T-Mobile people and the AT&T people perish? That wouldn't be good. So what did the FCC do? They opened it up to every carrier. So the reason I know that, and that was the case, it was factual, is I text my wife, but from a AT&T phone. This was AT&T. So I was able to use that DTC service through the Starlink satellites, even though I didn't have T-Mobile. Now there's no emergency. They're gonna move back into T-Mobile only. But who knows, in case of some type of disaster, maybe the FCC opens it up to all carriers. I could see that happening, 110%. But what I think is really interesting here that I really like to focus on is the idea that you're able to do this with absolutely no coverage. It's the equivalent of being in the 80s and having one of those sat phones, right? And the sat phone's like 1200 bucks and it's got an antenna on it this long and you're able to communicate with a satellite and make a phone call, right? And it costs you thousands of dollars. It's the exact same thing, but with your phone now, you and I can do this. If you have T-Mobile, you'll be able to do it before the end of this year. And then once again, moving into 2025, you're gonna be able to make that phone call and use data, surf the web. Right now, I'm seeing about 14 to 17 megabits down speed. That's it, using this. But when I say that's it, that's faster than AT&T's U-verse just about everywhere, AT&T's DSL and you're using a phone and a satellite sitting at 340, 360 kilometers in space. So it is a really, really big thing and it's exciting for sure. Now we see Lynx and we see AST Space Mobile. Actually, AST Space Mobile, I believe is ASTS on the ticker, right? So if you wanted to look them up, there's a lot of people that have been playing space through AST Space Mobile. And I always said that I just, I mean, I didn't want to do it and I didn't, I don't have any shares in them, but it was a way to play SpaceX Starlink's massive boom, but using another company. And that's what a lot of investors did. And we saw AST Space Mobile go from like $2 to like 30 some dollars, literally within a couple of days. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds percent increase. Now it's kind of pulled back. I think it's in the twenties or something, but either which way that was the play. It's almost like a meme stock, right? It's like GameStop or something like that stock. So I wouldn't suggest getting into it just because yes, it's going to most likely increase over time. But I think the boom is pretty much done because I tell you this, if SpaceX Starlink went public tomorrow, that thing would just explode. It would just shut down the exchange. I couldn't even imagine because people understand the power of SpaceX Starlink as I did when it first came out and then I started doing these 380 videos for you guys. Once again, at the beginning of the video, I put a link over here. 
Click that link now that you got to the end of this video <laughs> and you can take a look at all of my helpful how to's and whatnot that have to do with SpaceX Starlink. So guys, I want to hear from you down below. What do you think about all this? If you don't want to write anything down there or put an emoji, put a poop emoji. I'm happy with it. Whatever you want to put down there, at least I know that you actually were here and you got to the end of the video. I really do appreciate that. I really, really do. And finally, Head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years, and hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. All of my merch and my tees and my shirts and my books and everything else. Pick something up. I would really appreciate that. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love y'all.